in this video we can learn about mathematical induction and strong mathematical induction a valid proof is a valid argument that is the conclusion follows from the given assumption so there are three proof techniques are available direct proof proof by induction and proof by contradiction in proof direct proof technique we just write all the values present for your given equation and we just sum up and we just conclude so this is a direct proof just focus on mathematical induction in this lecture so a mathematical induction is also called as a simple mathematical induction mathematical induction is a special way of proving the things and wow how we solve this it has only two steps base case it is step 1 it shows that it is true for the first one means whatever value you are given with your equation you will always pick the first value and you will try to show that that is true and then is the next step that is called as a induction step this is step 2 you show that if any one is true then the next one is true and finally you conclude then all are true what is the meaning of that let's just focus on what are this meant if i say this is the ladder i have to reach from this place to this place if i have to show this then we will just follow the step 1 k step and k k plus 1 step and we will conclude so this is about the mathematical induction so how we do how we perform proving of this thing on your any of the equation given so in just step 1 we usually it is very easy we just have to prove it is true for n equal to 1 if a equation is having 1 as a first value or if a equation having 0 as your first value or whatever first value you are having for that particular equation or nth range then that will be given depending on your problem induction step in step 2 best way done in this way first we assume that it is true for n equal to k and then we try to prove that it is true or it is true for n equal to k plus 1 now in that case you will always go for you mostly go for solving lhs equal to rhs part and you will conclude lhs equal to rhs for n equal to k plus 1 and this is a kind of tricky but we may need to use imaginative tricks to make it work let's see example by using mathematical induction show that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 now in mathematical induction we never go for solving each and every value we just solve only two values that is n equal to 1 first value and n equal to k plus 1th value so let the statement p of n be we will just consider that this is our p of nth statement so it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on now in step 1 what we will do we will say now this is true for all natural numbers values of n now natural numbers always start with plus plus 1 2 3 and so on so first value is 1 for my n so what we have to do we have to first prove that it is true for the first value that is n equal to 1 so left side will be we will, we are just picking first value that is 1 and rhs will be this equation now in this equation we will just going to put the value of your n and value of n is 1 so 1 into 1 plus 1 whole divided by 2 left side is 1 rhs is this and it will be 1 so both lhs and rhs are equal so this is a true for first equation now both side of statement are equal hence p of 1 is true in step 2 we will first assume p of k is true we will just write the equation in this k format whatever we have equation that is this equation will be written instead of n you will just replace it with k and this will be called as p of k now we have assumed this is true and we have to show that p of k plus 1 is true by adding k plus 1 now here for this we are just adding k plus on the both side now in this equation what we are doing on lhs we have added k plus 1 and on rhs we have added k plus 1 now we will try to solve the rhs first and then lhs now this will become now we are solving lhs rhs part and now this will become k into k plus 1 divided by 2 plus k plus 1 this will become k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by 2 and this can be elaborated now this is known to us this is 
k into k plus 1 divided by 2 plus k plus 1. So, when we will solve both LHS and RHS, we will get that LHS equal to RHS. Then, we can say, which is the statement P of k plus 1 is a true. Okay, why true? Because we have assumed P of k is true. So, as P of k is true, so P of k plus 1 is also true. Hence, from this equation from p of 1 value p of k and p of k plus 1 we can prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on this equation given equation is true for all natural numbers values of n it is a variation of uh, mathematical induction that is called as a strong mathematical induction so it is also called as a complete induction or course of values induction or strong induction what is the difference in this in mathematical induction or in simple mathematical induction we just solved the equation for only two values that is for first value in base case and in induction step we solved the equation for p of k plus one value now in strong mathematical induction the steps are the same but the change is in second step in the base case we as usual we solve the value we prove it is true for n equal to 1 but in induction step instead of assuming it is true for p of k we assume that is it is true for n equal to 1 n equal to 2 so on so means we at least pick two three values till n equal to k and then we try to prove that it is true for n equal to k plus 1 so instead of just picking any one value that is n equal to k so we are just picking all the previous values and then we are showing that is it is true for k plus 1 so the critical difference between this and simple induction is that in induction step we prove we do not assume that only p of k is true but p of k and all earlier p of i for i is less than k let's see example for strong mathematical induction proposition is that every integer greater than one can be written as product of prime numbers so how we can solve this let's think of uh, let's think of this statement in this way let p of n be the statement that n can be written as a product of prime numbers then the proposition say that p of n is true for each integer equal to 2 so we cannot perform a product of uh, 1 so we just have to perform product of prime numbers which are greater than 1 so greater than 1 value is true and so on so proof by strong induction first case will be base case you are, you are assuming that is true for first value yes now your 2 is a prime number so it is a product of a single prime so this that is a product of single prime and uh, next step will be strong induction step now we have to solve that is true for all the values which are present in between 2 to k so suppose for some k greater than equal to 2 that each integer n with 2 less than equal to n less than equal to k may be written as not only n equal to k but product of prime how we can write this is a product of prime prime for each and every integer we are proving that so we need to prove that k plus 1 is a product of prime so in strong induction step what we are doing we are just considering two cases suppose k plus 1 is a prime we have to prove only that k plus 1 is a prime okay why we are we are doing this because we have because we have assumed that previous integer all the previous integer are product of two prime numbers a and b then if a k plus one is a prime number then we are done we don't have to prove but in the second case if that is not a prime then we have to prove that that is a prime so then by the fact stated above there exists integer a b which is lying between 2 to k such that k plus 1 is equal to a into b by the strong induction hypothesis since 2 is less than equal to a now there is element which is present between this uh, 2 and k range first element is greater than 2 and second element is less than that is b is less than k so both a b are product of primes thus k plus 1 value will be a into b is a product of prime so this is about the strong induction